Hello YouTube, this is the number one eleven here and I'm going to, and today I'm going to show you part two of how to use and download Spring to Mize. So first um there's general and it has things like disabling scra screen flash when you um like when you take a screenshot, um it shows that um the bright white light like this so it shows a um bright light you can disable that and then um you can disable spotlight um you can disable web search disable bookmarks um hide the page dots the page dots are the um dots on the bottom of the screen um on your springboard um i'll show you what they are right now okay um spring i mean um page dots are the little dots right here on the bottom of your um springboard that show you what page you are on so if i go like that the white dot will be on this side and then if i scroll left more it will go on the search page so that's the what the page dots are Back to general. Okay, now disable paging. I'll do. I'll do that. That's kind of fun because um, you won't have as many pages, but you have to have um. Oh, I have to. I have to respring this, but so I'm. I'm just not gonna do that right now, because that will take too long. Now let's go up on to capabilities. So you can use it, it says use custom for all of these um things. So I'll just do that and then you can um use the home screen wallpaper um for stuff. I don't really know what what that means, but um, I think it's more like disabling stuff. I'm not really sure about what capabilities are, so I'm just going to skip it. Okay, so on icons, you can resize the icons, so I can do them smaller, so it will look more iPad-ish. So I can do hide label, hide shadow, disable all badges. I can disable uninstall, disable jittering, use custom number on icons per line, so I can do seven. Um... I can put on five rows, so there's five rows in your springboard. I can put on red minus when you go into jiggle mode, and um, there's going to be an X on the top left of your icon that you want to uninstall. You just press that, and then it will uninstall it, so um, you can put that on red minus. So I'm just going to save that. Okay, then I'm going to um just respring the thing, I mean my um device right now. So Okay, so now all those things are on and then I'm going to show you what disabling jiggle mode and different things like that is. So see the red minus right there? Well, that's because um I put the um jittering mode thing off. So let's just go back to settings. Back to icons. Okay, so I resized them. I'm just going to turn that off because I don't really like all this stuff on. Okay, so now on dock, um, this is going to be my last one until I stop this video, and then do on part three, and the rest of them. So you can hide the labels um, of icons in the dock, so the labels of the icons and apps will be gone. Um, you can create folders in the dock, 
um, which you normally can't when that isn't enabled, and it's just like a regular iPod. Uh, you can hide icon reflection. Let's just turn that off, because I don't really like that. You can use a custom number of icons in dock, so I'm just going to put six. So, respring. Okay, so I respringed the iPod, and now see how they're more cramped up together? Well, I'm going to make them make six icons in the dock. I know it's kind of lagging because this um, thing that I'm using that makes my iPod on the screen is kind of sketchy. Okay, so now you can see that there are six icons on the dock. So that's what that does. And basically, that's my video. So, thank you for watching. Um, share, comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, I'll make part three after this video. And that is it. So, bye.